Hey, 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 it's your girl Kelly from Black Girl Happy Planner. Just hopping on today. Um, I didn't want the week to be over, the week to end, without giving a huge shout out for Teacher Appreciation Week to all of the teachers in the world um, who are grinding in the classroom who are making it possible for kids to learn a lot of new things, a lot of new information, who are helping kids learn how to read, do their math, social studies, science, all of that. Shout out to the specials classes. Um, I teach STEM and all the other um, computer science and art teachers and music teachers in the world, all of, all of those that are considered special classes or extra curricular classes. Um, electives um shout out to all of you too shout out to the administrators in the world who are holding it down i mean it's getting rough out here kids some of these kids not all not all the kids some of them are are really good but some kids are challenging educators right now um so much so that a lot of educators are leaving the profession um you know some are very frustrated and annoyed and stressed out so it's time for a break so summer is coming really really soon so, um, and the kids need a break too. We all need a break from each other. How about that? Um, yeah. And so if you are also teaching summer school, shout out to you too, because I'll be teaching summer school as well. Um, you know, education is a year round, uh, opportunity. And if kids and parents take advantage of it, their kids can learn all year, all year round. Um, and as we approach summer, I hope people are planning ahead their summer break activities. Um, if your kids are going to do summer camps and or if you're going to go on summer vacations with your kids, start planning that now because um, stuff is getting booked up. Uh, if you need to get a plane ticket, man, I'm, I'm start looking now because the prices are continuing to go higher and higher. Um, if you are planning to do summer camps and summer things like that with your kids, make sure you um, are planning that. Make sure you contact, you know, if you're doing sports camps or academic camps, you probably should have contacted them already because it is May. It is mid-May. But um, you probably need to go ahead and do that and coordinate and organize that uh, uh, now. Um also, summer vacations, if you're planning on doing summer vacations, you know, make sure you, you have some of that planned. Um, summer is really, it's, I was calculating it the other day, it's not really lo as long as it used to be. Summer, especially if you are an educator, um, we get out mid-May, well, not even mid-May, towards the end of May. We get the month of June, and if you're teaching summer school, part of June, and then you get the full month of July... And then for us, I'm in Alabama, we go back to school. I was looking at the calendar, August 2nd or 3rd, which is the first week of August. So we don't even get any part of August as a vacation. So really, July. That July, end of June, July <laughs> is our is our um, break. So yeah, that's what it is. So for all y'all who think teachers just be chilling for the summer, nah. It's a whole, you know, it's a whole thing. We got to wrap up school. We start in August, um, you know, go through the fall, get a little break in the wintertime. We do get breaks throughout the year. That's the plus, one of the pluses. I won't say the plus, but that's one of the pluses of working in public school education. We do get, particularly in the South, we do get some breaks here and there. Um, fall break, we get winter break, we get a lot of holiday breaks. We get spring break, you know, holidays and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so um, summer break is coming. So start planning. Teachers, shout out to you too to start planning. What are you going to do this summer? Are there projects that you need to work on and get done? If so, go ahead and make a list of those now. Start making a list of those now. I know for me, I got to get some writing projects done. Um, so I need to to have some time at the library. They have like these private rooms that are one of our libraries here that you can reserve and just do what you got to do. I need to create a lot of content so I'm not struggling to create content, you know, during the school year uh, or during during my work weeks. Um, 
other big things coming down the pike for me for the summer is if you are familiar with uh, Black Girl Happy Planner, you know that I host a group on Facebook called Black Girl Cooking. Um, so I'll be launching my Black Girl Cooking Cookbook Club um, coming up uh, this summer with our first uh, cookbook, quarterly cookbook. Um, so I'll be revealing that coming up soon here before the end of May. That's the goal. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I'll be giving you some more planner reviews. Um, so all the planners that I started using in January, um, coming back full circle to like review them. Some of them I've stopped using. That's the life of a planner, you know, a person who's into planning and planners. Um, so yeah, some of them I'm, I've stopped using. I've started using new ones since January. So I will give you some planner reviews in my Hot Planner Summer series um, this summer. Also, just continuing on my my trek to weight loss and weight loss goals. Um, now that I'm over 50 and now that um, you know, I'm back on Weight Watchers, um, my Jump to Put Jeans on series, I'm going to continue with that um, for you guys. So be on the lookout for that as well. Um, and yeah, just um, also keep in mind we have a lot of holidays coming up in the spring slash early summer. Um, Mother's Day is coming. If you haven't not gotten your mother that gift, I don't know what to tell you. Um, if you haven't ordered it, you know, I don't know what to tell you. So you better come up with something local that you can go and grab real quick or if you're going to take her out or do whatever. Okay. Um, also, shout out to those who, who've lost their moms. Um, yeah, I lost my mom in 2020. And so uh, Mother's Day is always a hard holiday to get through. But shout out to all the moms in the world, my friends who are moms from high school, college, my friends who are grandmothers, which always still boggles my mind that some of y'all who are my age are grandmas. But I guess it makes sense because our grandmas were in their 50s when we were little. We just didn't realize it. And I guess I just, it just, it still boggles my mind that any of my friends are grandmothers. But shout out to all the grandmas looking good in their 50s, you know. Because 50 back in the day did not look like how 50 looks now. So we look pretty darn good. Um, yeah, so y'all know black don't crack. So, And I get that all the time when I tell people I'm 50. They're like, what? I'm like, yes, yes. So, um, but yeah, Mother's Day is coming up. Memorial Day is coming up. So time to start getting your barbecue on. All y'all people that think y'all grill masters, time to get the grill together. Get the grill equipment together. Clean it. Make sure it's good before you fire up the grill. Don't fall asleep like somebody I met the other day who uh, fell asleep um, while barbecuing. I was like, yeah, you're not really a grill master because most people know you're not supposed to fall asleep while grilling because um, that's unmanned food. You could have started a fire. I'm just saying. Anyway, not judging. Also, Father's Day is coming up. Don't neglect the dads. Y'all know how how we do in America. We we do it up big for moms, but Father's Day, dads to kind of sometimes get the raw deal. Um, so let's do it big for dads and fathers and uncles and those people who who play a fatherly role in our lives. Um, and then also graduations coming. So high school graduation. Um, I guess they're doing middle school graduations now, and you know we do graduation here from the kindergarten into first grade and then we do fifth grade graduation um that's a lot of graduations um but yeah high school and then college graduation we got grad school graduation we got uh medical school students law school students all of that shout out to all of you who are graduating this year and um, those of you who are parents who have these graduates i hope you're prepared for that also one last thing I'll say about um, all these events that are coming up, these uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, graduations, things like that, summer vacations. Make sure you keep memory keeping in mind. This is a prime opportunity to, to organize photos, um, to start thinking about how you're going to organize those photos. Um, you might want to create, if you have an app that you're using on your phone, when you take your photos, you may want to create a... Um, photo albums ahead of time to um you know put put those photos in you know start putting them in now 
like when you're on a trip that way when you get back if you want to organize them 